everybody and welcome back to the round two for you YouTube channel this is for our July 2023 product spotlight I'm Chad we've got a uh, pretty cool month for you guys so we're shooting this video a little bit early for July and the reason we're doing that next week we're gonna be headed to the good guys show in Columbus Ohio we're gonna have a big booth set up there we do a make and take program with good guys um, where kids get free model kits free snap kits so if you guys are in the Columbus Ohio area you want to stop by good guys and say hi to us uh, be sure to do that there's gonna be I think 6,500 show cars there so it should be a huge event and a lot of fun but jumping into the product that we've got for this month there's still a decent amount of stuff to show you guys and some really cool products uh, as far as model kits go it's a great month for sci-fi we've got three sci-fi kits we're gonna show you guys that are either all new tooling or extensive new tooling there's two car kits there's a big rig kit that we're gonna show you uh, and then in diecast we got a new release for Auto World True 164 we're gonna go through we've got a one uh, two 118 scales for Auto World and in slot cars three releases for slot cars and a slot car set so we're gonna jump right into into all of that we're gonna start with the model kits all right so as I mentioned for the model kits it's a big month for sci-fi so we're gonna start off with the first kit all new tooling um, coming in this month this is our 132nd scale Star Wars New Hope TIE Fighter. So this is completely uh, new tooling from the ground up that has been uh, developed by Jamie Hood and our model kit uh, guys over there. Uh, Jamie actually did the painting for the front of this. That's uh, incredible looking box art. This builds out to about 13 and a half inches tall. Uh, we did kind of tease this here on our YouTube channel talking about the new tooling for this uh, year. This is part of our studio uh, series, so it's larger scale, about the size of what they used for the filming miniatures when they were making the uh, series. So some of the really awesome features about this kit to show you guys. Uh, you've got optional clear cockpit window parts here, small marking de uh, decals. There's a TIE Fighter figure uh, that goes inside of it. You can see all the details on the side of the wings there. And those clear parts um, let you uh, add your own custom lighting easily. The hatch is removable so you can get a better look at the inside there. And here's a look at those water slide decals that come with the kit. Also like with most of our sci-fi kits has a dome uh, display base with a metal support. And there's a look at the back showing uh, one of the finished models. We've actually sent a few of these out uh, for builds, so you guys should be seeing some uh, some builders on YouTube, some of the modeling magazines going through here, and uh, building up this all-new kit. So we are super excited about this one. Uh, we know you guys can't wait to build that up. Continuing on with Star Wars um, and partial new tooling, this is another one that you guys have really been waiting on, uh, the re-release for the MPC Han Solo's Millennium Falcon. So this is uh, 18 inches long. So pretty big scale on this model as well. Uh, we did a lot of extensive retooling on this one. Uh, it has a lot of cool um, new parts added to it, or well, parts really redone. Uh, we did the radar dish is new. The side panels here have a lot more added detail to them. The uh, original kit was kind of uh, out of scale a little bit with how thick those side panels were, so that has been fixed. There's new figures for Han Solo and Chewbacca. It's kind of the vintage style packaging look. Looks like that old school uh, MPC release. There's kind of just a look on the side. Again, just keeping the original style box art on the side here. Um, and then there's this is what was on the original box art. So we won't have all these kits coming out now, but it is some of the kits that were, uh, that were shown on the original box. So we kept that for nostalgia's sake on the back. And then you can see some of those new features there. So the seated figures of Han Solo and Chewbacca, those, the new tooling for that. There's clear parts to make it easier to light this, so it's kind of a clearish blue uh, section for the back there. You can see the new dish here. Uh, the, there's that opening cargo ramp shown, and then looking on the back of the kit, this is a really good look at a, at a build up here. Some more of those where you can see the sidewalls with a lot more detail in this kit. So we are really excited to, to bring this out. Um, it's gonna be, a great price point for building out a larger scale Millennium Falcon compared to some of the other ones that are out on the market here. So uh, super excited to see how you guys get these in your hands, build them up. And I think a lot of people that have been wanting to build a Millennium Falcon will now have their opportunity to have a, uh, a pretty nice kit uh, to build up a good, a good replica of it. So that's everything that we've got for Star Wars. But also in sci-fi, we've got another big release for Star Trek. 
This is our Klingon Kronos 1 uh, in 1 350th scale. This is the Star Trek 6 version. So what we've done with this, there's new parts, uh, new nacelles for this to build the version from uh, Star Trek 6. Great looking box art on it. You can see the uh, really colorful decals and pieces on, uh, on this version of the ship. And speaking of those decals, you can see here on the side, here's the decals that come with the ship, but uh, the ship's famous for its kind of gold chrome pieces, which were done, uh, I believe, with photo etching for the actual show. What we have done in this kit, that's pretty cool, um, we have included these gold chrome decals. If you can really see it when it hits the light there, um, these look awesome. So these gold chrome decals are just helping to keep the price point down a little bit and make it easier for somebody who wants to build it up and and they really, really look awesome. Uh, we will also have some accessory kit, uh, parts coming for this. So we do have a photo etch set that will be sold separately. This is kind of our first look at, uh, at what that photo etch set will look like. So these will probably come out, I don't know if they'll come out at the, the exact same time, but pretty close to uh, when this kit is released. And we also will be doing a custom lighting kit uh, for this as well if you want to light your light your ship up and then to show you guys on the box just jumping back into the kit itself you can see here some more of the details included you can see um, how those new nacelles look on the side it's 142 pieces there's a little bit um some some small bits of photo etch parts that are included in this um, but the bigger photo etch sheet will be will be separate and then of course those uh, those gold chrome decals that I showed you guys there. And I believe um, just this side of the box as well, you can kind of see uh, a little more of those parts and pieces. That That's kind of a, a uh, showcasing the photo etch kit and the light kit that I just showed you guys. So a lot of cool stuff in sci-fi and a big, big month for sci-fi. So I uh, hope you guys are exci as excited as we are about those kits. Now jumping into the automotive stuff, uh, we've got two car kits to show you guys. Uh, first is the AMT 1969 Ford Galaxy. Uh, Re-releasing this kit. This is a three-in-one, um, so it can be built stock, street, or drag style. Uh, stuck with the vintage style packaging for this, but we did go and expand the decal sheet, add some more uh, decals to it, and you can see those here on that expanded decal sheet. It's got the Bumbles B version, and then there's all kinds of little AMT decals, Auto World decals, um, little sponsors for the side of it, striping packages, and there's a look at kind of a street version, and then you can see some of the features of the kit here. The roll bar, steering wheel, you can do stock tires or the wide uh, slicks, the 427 single overhead cam engine, the dual quad manifold, and there's a look at the parts tree on the back for that one. Then uh, next for automotive kits, we do have the snap kit, of the Turbo Custom 79 Pontiac Firebird. So this kit coming back out, I really think that this kit is super cool looking. Uh, I really love that box art. So what we've kind of done with this kit, uh, it's molded in two colors. So a great beginner kit for somebody who wants to just snap something together. Again, molded in color so it can, it can build up pretty easily. Uh, the body has actually been retooled on this. Uh, on this kit to make it go together easier. Again, uh, vintage style packaging that we went with. And you can see with those uh, all new stickers and decals included in this kit. So beginners can use stickers uh, or you can go with, with decals for the more experienced modeler, but you can see the two versions of the bird here. Uh, those cool kind of retro grid style Firebird decals on the side. There's another look at kind of the, uh, so the under chassis detail. There's detailed suspension in this kit too. Um, and then there's a look at that parts tree on the back. So again, a snap kit, a super simple build, but really cool size vintage uh, turbo Firebird. I think it'd be a great, uh, great first kit for somebody. And then lastly, we do have one kit for you guys, uh, for you big rig guys. So uh, re-release for our Peterbilt 352 pacemaker cab over tractor. So this is using our Coors Banquet license so there are Coors Banquet decals included in this uh, in this truck we do have new box art for this as well a new painting that was done of course with the Rocky Mountains in the background to give that Coors feel uh, really really cool box art uh, done for this one you can see on this kit as well a look at that decal sheet for the Coors um, it has the tilting sleeper cab Detroit diesel engine of course uh, detail interior with the kit as well 
Um, a lot of cool features for that, and you can see on the uh, big parts tree on the back just how many parts and pieces are included uh, with that truck. So that's what we got for models for July. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys the die cast. So jumping into die cast, we're going to start with 164 scale. So for this month, we got a new release for Auto World True 164. There's two all new tools uh, in this release, and something unique about this release: six cars, two color variations in each. But every car in this release is a 2021 or newer model. So starting off with uh, the all new casting, first is the 2021 Dodge Charger SRT. Hellcat Red Eye. That's a mouthful. Great looking casting here. First version here is in white knuckle for that color and it has the black uh, black roof, black trunk, black hood wrapped around the top there. Great looking casting of course being Auto World Premium, true 164th, opening hood with detailed engine, rubber tires, metal chassis, and a, a lot of great detailing on that one. The second version here is in uh, octane red. You can see the black interior on that one. Uh, both have gunmetal style wheels. Um, you can see the Hellcat style hood on there with the vents in it. And again, a lot of great uh, painted details on this one. So second in this release, 2021 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 carbon fiber track pack. Another mouthful of a name. Another great looking car for this one. First one being in grabber yellow has the black racing stripes on the side of it. This casting is really cool looking. Um, so we've done a couple releases for this, have not done the, uh, the yellow version yet, and that really looks awesome. Second is in Twister Orange for the version B here. Again, with the black racing stripes on that one as well. Black wheels, the carbon fiber uh, accents on the spoiler as part of that carbon fiber track pack package. And then third in the release here, Keeping up with the new cars, the 2022 Chevy Camaro ZL1. This first version here, you can see in red, it's got uh, gunmetal wheels on that one as well. Black detailing on the hood there. And great painted details, rapid blue for version B. Again, really shows off the uh, that black detailing on the hood there. And then fourth in the release, another new Dodge, the 2021 Dodge Challenger SRT Super Stock. So there's the first version here in cinnamon stick. The black hood on that one, again with the black roof, black trunk, so it'll look really good with the, uh, with the Charger. Big fat tires on it, which really look awesome. Second is in pitch black. Really sinister looking in pitch black there. Then fifth in the release, we've got the next release for our 2022 Chevy Corvette. First version here is in ceramic gray. This casting is, is really cool. Uh, one, because it has the opening hatch, but you can see the engine detail there through the uh, back window, which really gives it uh, some cool details on that uh, for that casting. Again, uh, of course, metal chassis, rubber tires. And the second version, this one should be really popular. This is the Golf version of that 2022 Corvette. So, of course, in the light blue and orange, has the Golf graphics on the side of it. Orange lip on those uh, black wheels there. And even white lettering on the tires. So, uh, really cool looking for that. And then last, but definitely not least, another all-new tooling for us, the 2023 Nissan Z. This is great looking, this tool turned out awesome. Uh, of course, as I mentioned, opening hood, so you can see that V6 twin turbo engine when you open the hood on this one. Version A is in sear and blue. Of course, has the black roof, all those painted details, including the silver katana style trim that goes uh, uh, on the line of the roof there. Um, the painted details for, of course, the headlights and taillights, rubber tires, and then the second version in Ikizuchi yellow. Uh, with the bronze wheels for that. So kind of that proto-spec style um, for that 2023 Nissan Z. So a great looking release for Auto World. Something different that we're doing, having all new cars in a release together. So hopefully you guys uh, really enjoy this one and those two new tools. We're gonna jump in next and show you guys what's up for 118 scale. 
So for the 118 scale, we're jumping in. We've got two cars to show you guys uh, for this month, both of them being part of our Muscle Car and Corvette National Series, which you guys are probably all too familiar with. First off is the 1969 AMC AMX, so great looking car for this one. Uh, this is, of course, a McCacken car based on a car at the show. This is one of only 284, I believe, um, 69 AMC AMXs in big bad green. So the, this 118 scale has, of course, the opening doors and hood, the detailed engine, the steerable front wheels. It's got red line tires on it, a detailed interior, and a, uh, a detailed chassis as well, which you can see on the bottom here. This car, uh, you can see the on the back here, at Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, this was actually owned by Lisa Riesterer. Uh, this car was shown in the 2014 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals and won an award, uh, Leading Lady Award, at, uh, at that event. She has since then gone on and actually sold this 69 uh, AMC AMX and bought a 1970 in Big Bad Blue. So another cool um, AMC AMX to own. but. Looks great in that green color. We're really excited to bring that one out. So, Next up in 118 scale, we have a 1969 Nikki Chevy Chevelle as another muscle car in Corvette Nationals car. Uh, what's cool about this one, it's been replicated. It's a Hugger Orange car. The car that it's based on uh, was ordered with the 427 as a Copo option for Nikki Chevrolet uh, there in Chicago. So they always do come to the show, have a whole uh, booth set up. Those guys from Nikki with some of their builds there. They do newer stuff, older stuff. Um, a lot of great looking Chevys that come out of there. Uh, this one has opening doors and hood on it. Of course, the detailed engine, the 427 engine, steerable front wheels, precise accuracy. It's got BF Goodrich tires, and there's that detailed chassis on the bottom. And then you can look on the back here, and there's the picture of that 69 uh, Nikki Chevy Chevelle at the show, and some more uh, detailed pictures of the engine and interior on the real car that we've chose to replicate and a little more information on the back as well about that build the one of one uh, for this car so that's everything we've got for the 118 scale next we're going to show you guys all of our slot cars for this month so finishing off with the slot cars uh, as I mentioned we got three releases of slot cars to show you guys and a new uh, a new slot car race set to show so we're going to start with the extraction stuff this first release it's called Rally World Stage. There's gonna be four uh, cars in this, two color variations. There's actually two all new tools that are in this release, which we'll get into. But first off, it's the next release for our 1975 Ford Escort. This whole um, whole series is rally cars. So this first one is this Greenlee um, livery on here. So again, full rally car style. It's got the, it's got gas cans on the top. It's got the extra wheels on top of it. This is a really fun, uh, fun casting that was, I believe this was uh, made last year. And the version A is great looking. Version B is the uh, Doug's solar power car. Um, got, uh, again, another white uh, car, but it's got that yellow, red, and green livery on it. Number 19 here with all those extra rally parts and pieces. So a really cool, fun release for this one. Then second, we're going to have the 1975 Datsun 620. Uh, first one here is in red, white, and blue. Great looking uh, livery for this one. And this is an all new tool for this truck. So um, it's got that roll bar in the back of it and super fun release number 21 there. Second in the release um, for this new tool, this yellow, um, blue, and orange version, a really period correct style um, livery on that. It's the low die casting car here, uh, number seven on that one. Uh, then another new tool for us, if you guys have been following us, you've seen us uh, talk about this one, the first release for our 1970 Datsun 510. Um, we did this one with the uh, stock style front end on it um, for that rally release. We will have one coming out with um, a front lip uh, in a later release. So the first is in black and yellow here for that rally car look. Striping on the side of it, number on the top. Second is in white and purple, uh, number five. And then lastly, in this rally release, our 1977 Chevy Blazer. So the next release for that. First is in blue and white. Number 16, really cool looking graphics on this one. Uh, 
All those blue striping really looks awesome. Again, kind of a period uh, correct rally style, like a vintage rally style uh, look for that. And then the next one is in black and red uh, graphics on that one as well. Number 185 on there. That's everything for the rally release. We also have one more extraction release to show you guys. This is next for our automotive icons. So we showed the, this series, uh, I believe it was last month or maybe two months ago. Um, so there's three cars in this series, starting with the 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. There it is in black and gold. Very iconic Trans Am. The gold bird on the, uh, of course, on the hood, gold wheels, white letter tires. A lot of great looking detail on that one for that extraction car. Uh, next, the 1970 Dodge Challenger RT in white. White letter tires on that. Again, a lot of great painted details on these slot cars. Another very iconic Challenger. And lastly, the 76 Ford Torino in red with the white stripe. Another great looking paint job for that one as part of that Automotive Icons release. And then lastly for slot car releases, uh, we've had a lot of guys asking about when we we're going to do our next uh, release for four gear, NHRA cars. So here it is, uh, starting off with Bob Tasca the third, 2022 car, NHRA funny car, Mustang here. So the Motorcraft uh, livery on that one, red and white, great looking release there. Second, Matt Hagen's 2022 NHRA funny car, his charger here. So black and silver. And we've got Ron Caps 2022 NHRA Napa funny car, Napa Auto Parts. Of course in the blue and yellow livery there. And then fourth in the release, Cruz Pedregon's 2022 NHRA Snap-on car. So that red, uh, red to black fade on it. Another great looking paint job on that one. And perfect releases for uh, for your drag car sets, your Auto World drag car sets. So, speaking of sets, lastly, what, what we're jumping into here is our all new competition lighted pro racing winged warrior set. So, uh, this one is a really fun set. It's got our um, our banked curves featured in here, so a, like kind of a, a NASCAR style track here. It does feature our all new body uh, for the 1970 Plymouth Superbird as a Richard Petty version. So uh, Petty versus Isaac again in this one, uh, but with that 1970 Superbird uh, first release for that and then Bobby Isaac's 69 Dodge Charger Daytona that it's going up against. Uh, what's cool about these is these are actually um, part of our flamethrower cars. So they do have working headlights on them. So when you race them around, you can have the, have the headlights turn on. So we have that as part of the competition lighted uh, pro racing and this does come with our adjustable uh, voltage power pack too so you can turn the turn the speed uh, down or up for racing this and then you can see on the back here it's just a look at that layout and then a little bit of information about uh, about the winged warriors aero cars a little bit of the little bit of the story on the back and of course all these are are uh, compatible with all of our sets they're compatible with AFX sets um, so a lot of stuff that you can do there. So that's everything we've got for slot cars, diecast 118 and 164 scale. A lot of model kits, as I mentioned, big month for sci-fi. Uh, so ton of stuff. Uh, if you guys, hey, are in the Ohio area next week, be sure to stop in and see us down at Good Guys. And if not, we'll see you next month video. Thanks again, guys.